Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. And so, the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So, let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Shall we? Do let's. Here we go. But not before we moisturize our hands. Hiya. Can I get a hiya? Hiya. Because the hands need moisture. All right. Get this party started. We really gonna start with the full. You know what? You know what? I'm calling an audible. Uh, nope. Okay. I'll let you be here. I'm not gonna fight you like that. But we're gonna bust out with the urban tarot see what's popping. It's not that I don't like the folklore tarot. I do. I'm quite fond of it, actually. It's uh, working very well in the hands. Really likes the camera. And uh, has plenty to say and I can dig it but let's see if the fool shows up again with another deck yeah cute all right first up Five of Cups, Six of Sword, Three of Wands, High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, <clears throat> and King of Pentacles. This is like looking back from a position this is looking behind you from a safe position concerning some of your wants and wishes, right? Knowing that you, these wants and wishes, these are manifestations. They're not just, you know, the ramblings of some person wanting a new life. This is coming together and having a board meeting with spirit to establish this uh, position of uh, relative comfort, financial comfort with the nine of, one, nine of pentacles and king of pentacles behind it, financial comfort, um, being victorious in that endeavor and also healing adding a level of healing to for you and yours also establishing new rules with the hierophant right behind it now that you are victorious you get to set the rules hmm Hmm. Okay. Tower. Six of Pentacles. And Five of Swords. You get to set the rules because how the rules were set up previously was not equitable for you at all. It seemed like it, but at the at the heart of the matter, it was not. 
So there were some changes made. Strength, Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. Eleven, one, two, and ten. Two and eight. This is also ten. Okay. All right, so back to this. The strength ace of wands and two of wands combination this trio right here. It's finding use for this raw energy. Because sometimes, or before those times, this raw energy would come up and kind of take you by surprise. You didn't know what to do. You didn't know how to work with it. You know, so it kind of becomes destructive. And the Two of Wands is about recognizing when that energy is building up and also um, putting it in the proper direction so that can actually be helpful for you. Because this raw energy is part of, it's part of your divine gifts, right? And it's the thing that you need to make it in this world. It's like your puzzle piece, right? With the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, this is perfecting perfecting the temporary perfecting the temporary. Okay. There's more to that. It's not perfecting the temporary. It's like recognizing when these bursts are going to come up. I just said that. But it is. And not just allowing them to come up on their own, being able to get them to come up on command. Hmm. With the Eight of Pentacles, getting good at that. Okay, so we've got death, the star, knight of swords, queen of swords, the moon, and the seven of swords. There's definitely been a lot of mental activity. I don't even really see like mental anguish here. You've got the death and the moon. Yeah, but like with the Prince of Swords and the Queens of, Queen of Swords here, I don't see this as um, where your, your mind has turned against you. You know, it's working and it's working in overtime, yes but it is you you and your mind are actually on the same side of the coin from where I'm sitting like you've got the star here giving you a bird's eye view of what's actually going on which is helpful to get you like up and out of the way so you don't have to deal with the first level type of energy right um, but also with that because you've got this moon energy there's also other information that you're not going to have yet oops sorry pretty kitty you're not going to have that yet because it's not time for you to have it so if you need to address any of these things that are on the side they will be illuminated when you are old enough to have it old enough to deal with it right a seven of swords right behind that this is like fighting or swinging into the wind 
Cuba Gooding Jr. on Boys in the Hood after he got pulled over by the cops. Just, you can put your hole into it, but it's certainly not gonna do much. It's not gonna do what you want it to do. At all. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Emperor, the Sun, Knight of Swords, and the Lovers. Yeah, you're swinging in the wind and you're not really doing it. You're not making the effective change that you think you should be making, but you are, but that, but you are actually making gains, just not where you're currently focused. Queen of Pentacles here. This is like um, making a really good investment and then leaving it be. And some returns are quick. Some returns are not so quick. But the Queen of Pentacles knows how to make things grow. And it doesn't matter if we're talking bank balances, pets, children, or adults. She knows how to make things grow. Prince of Cups and the Emperor, right behind that. You really want to be, you, you want to have a lot of power, but you also want to do right by that power for a lot of you I see that there's just this burn to show people that it is possible to have an immense amount of power and still remain true to you right still be open to love even when you are in a segregated position like the emperor you got the sun the king of swords and the lovers to round us out this is happy you have made it oh you've made up your mind and you're happy with the decision to allow actual love back into your life. Hmm. There were other things that were more important previously. And now that those have been addressed and we're good to go on that, now it's you, you're allowing the thought of having actual love come in. Hmm. And that's for some of you. It may not be for everyone, but yeah, some love is coming in. Dope. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.